How many of you want to be successful in this life? I need to see your hands. You want your children to respect you and be happy that you are their father and their mother in the future. Very good, very good. Now, this is the picture of the Gatwick Airport in London. Now, this airport has broken records over and over and over and over again. It is the airport that has the largest number of passengers that fly one single runway. Every year, it flies 42 million people. 42 million. Imagine if that airport were in Nigeria and everybody that was passing there, passing through that airport, spends only 10,000 naira. Do your mathematics. That's 420 billion naira. You, you will hear maths and numbers. If you cannot count, you cannot be rich. So let me start. It will be rough. I guarantee it will be very rough. If you cannot count, you cannot be successful. So if you want to succeed, learn to count. Now, so this airport is only one. Nigeria has 31 airports. 26 of these airports are managed by FAN, Federal Aviation Authority of Nigeria. Out of these 26, five of them are international. But put all the 26 airports, all the 31 airports together, none of them will compare to this airport. Next slide. The owner of this airport is a Nigerian. He's a Nigerian. His name is Adebayo Gulesi from Shagamu. From Shagamu. So Nigerians still make it. Next slide. Next slide. Now, in the medical profession, medic, medical students are people that are close to God. Because as if God selects some of you that do medicine, some of us were not in that category. You know, some of you are medical students here, you have learned, and I, I think that they are special because they tend to help God to protect life. They treat you. So if you're a medical person, I salute you here. Now, and that, that medical industry is a reference industry where people are very careful about now, last year, there was a situation that they said there was a child that was 23 weeks old in the mother's womb. And that child, when he was checked, the child had a tumor. So they needed to do something. Either the woman dies with the baby or they have to carry. So they called a particular doctor. And the doctor opened the mother, the woman, opened the womb, removed the baby out. We open the baby, remove the tumor, cover the baby, put the baby in the womb, and cover the baby, and let the baby stay 13 extra weeks before the baby was born. Next slide. The name of that doctor is Dr. Oluyinka Olutoye, a Nigerian man. The first person that we're talking about controls aviation and infrastructure. This one handles medical issues. If this man were here, I don't see why people should be flying abroad to Gante. People should be flying here to come for their medical. Okay, stay there. Next slide, next slide. Now, this is a computer gaming robot. It's called Mechamon. Mechamon gaming robot is the first gaming robot in the world as of now. And the person that created it is the highest paid robotics engineer, robotics engineer in the whole world. Right now, Apple signed with that person that they will be the only company that will sell Mechamon. So they signed an exclusive right with that person. Now, when I ask who is the person, next slide, the person's name is Silas Adekunle. Silas was born in 1992. 26 year old, 27 year old boy. 27 year old boy. He's the same one. So, question one How old are you? <laughs> Tell your neighbor it will be rough. It will be very rough. Next slide. <laughs> Next slide. Okay, good. Now, there is a country in this world that 43% of the birds cannot fly. 43% of the birds in that place, they cannot fly. Can you imagine Nigeria, birds that cannot fly? It's not possible. Now, this country has birds like 
the crossover area, they have the kakapo, they have the kiwi, the ostrich, the penguin. 43% of the bird cannot fly. So I decided to find out why can't these birds fly. Next slide. Because they don't have predators to attack them. <laughs> Stay with me. They don't have snakes to bite them. They don't have animals to attack them. So over 1,000 years, they have lost their ability to fly. So when they were staying on trees, because nobody was attacking them, they moved their houses down. And they started laying eggs down there. Over time, there was no need to fly. So all their energy became poor. So when this one finishes, he will hand over to his son. That his son, you don't need to fly. Then that one hand over to his own son. You don't need to fly. Question two. <laughs> Who taught you to be poor? Monkey, no the bone goat. If you check it, your father did not teach you to be rich. Why? Because he did not know. These predators have stopped the problem for them to go and look for food. Trouble is the gift of God to man. Trouble takes you, it, takes, it, it gives you the ability to run. It gives you the opportunity to think quickly. When you don't have trouble, you can't think. Say, I hear you. Okay, next slide. I went to Federal Government College in Janiki, Lagos. And in Janiki, Lagos, I was in Odudua House. We had Moremi House, we had Jaja House, we had El Kalem, we had Danfudio. Different houses. I wore red shirt. So there's a time in the year we must do inter-house sports. All of you did inter-house sports in secondary school. And in that inter-house sports, you will build boots, you will do races, you will do high jump, triple jump and everything. But there's a particular race. 100 meter senior boys, 100 meter senior boys. That race was the most prestigious race in the whole school. Whoever won that race is the fastest boy in the whole school. That race is the race of dignity. When somebody wins that race, his pride, everything, you will be very happy with yourself. <laughs> okay. But in the same school, after that race, towards the end, they now bring all the daddies that have big stomach and cannot run, to come and run. The next slide, speed. So the daddies will come and run, and everybody, they're all laughing at them. That race is for entertainment. The first race is the race of dignity. The second race is the race for entertainment. Next slide. If you fail to run the race of dignity now, you will be somebody's entertainment tool tomorrow. The admirals at Ogba, when they were in primary school, they had the opportunity to learn, but they were jumping out of classes. Over time, they now stand at the bus stop with pencil and marker and write on cards. <laughs> let him that has here, let him hear. When you were supposed to be studying, killing yourself to understanding mathematics and calculus, you were jumping first. Right now, they are looking for you to say, where do I to Ali. When you fail to run the race of dignity now, you will run the race of entertainment for somebody tomorrow. Now, there was a video that was circulating about turkeys crossing a road. How many of you saw that video? Yes, you shared it. So I shared it. Now, those turkeys were small. 44 seconds only. 44 seconds. Turkeys. People were sharing. <laughs> Look at it. They were laughing. We looked at everything on the street of Hampshire. I said, okay, no shaking. I asked myself, is there somebody not hearing something here? Next slide. A turkey is used for food. You eat turkey. If it was an elephant that crossed the road, I would understand. A tiger, I would understand. A, a, a lion, I would understand. A buffalo, I would understand. Even a pack of, of zebras, but a turkey. Cross the road and then car stopped. Waited for it to pass. 
A turkey is used for decoration. In some parts of India, they worship turkey. <laughs> Next slide. Over 3.49 million people went to look at turkeys crossing the road. The village of Hampshire became popular because of Tolo Tolo. <laughs> the white car you saw there became popular. <laughs> because the person said, that's my car, that's my car, that's my car. Became popular because of Tolo Tolo. The road became visible. Question three. What can you do in 44 seconds that your village will be recognized in the world? Forty-four seconds. You don't need one year to make significant impact. Hey, just get it right. Everything will turn out right. Next slide. Your life is about making impact and not being one of the statistics that could be counted. Let's go deeper. Next slide. Next slide. And the role everybody is to play in it. Let me show you some people that are doing certain things. Next slide. There is a man called Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. He is the vice president of the UAE, the president of Dubai. The man on October 17, Thursday, sent a tweet by 3 p.m. and said in that tweet, I want to change the bloodline and the pattern of leadership in, in Dubai. And at that point in time, he sent another tweet by 5 p.m. The list of ministers. Next slide. And then he appointed a friend of mine called Oman Bill Sultan Al Olama, 27 year old boy, as Minister for Artificial Intelligence. What is his description? His job description is for him, Oman, to build houses in planet Mars by the year 2117 so that Dubanians can live there. You did not hear me. So let me repeat. This was done in 20, 2017. The boy's job description is to plan how Dubanians will live in planet Mars in 2117, 100 years in advance. Mohammed bin Rashid is 64 years old. In 100 years' time, that man will not be alive. The man that put this plan on ground would have died. That boy is 27 years old. That boy will not live 127 years old. He will die. The two people that have the mandate to plan are not going to see that vision comes to pass. They are not thinking of the next election. They are thinking of the next generation. They are not thinking of local league. Not local government chairman. They are thinking of a hundred years. They are thinking of how they will set up fast food joints. Thinking of how they will build hotels there by the next generation. Sheikh Zahid bin Sultan Al Olama said women constitute 50% of every country's population. When you tell the women to keep quiet, when you don't train them, what happens is that that country loses 50% potential. Mm -hmm. We need to allow our women talk. We need to allow our women voice out and exercise their abilities. Some men are useless. Trouble has come. Trouble has come. Next slide. Next slide. In that his list, he appointed two ladies. One was Ud Aruni, Minister for Happiness. Not the Commissioner of Happiness rubbish that they did the last time. Her responsibility was to make Dubai, UAE, comfortable for people. People will drive on the road and Dubai police will stop you. When they stop you, they will say thank you for driving well. They give you a gift and they put a sticker on the back of your car. That means you are an ambassador of Dubai. Will you drive rough in your life? They are thinking. Your problem is not your location. Your problem is your thinking. Thinking. If you can think enough, what you have is more than enough. Bash, how are you? Now, the second lady there, her name is Shama Al Mazuri. 
She was made the minister for youth. That girl is 22 years old. How on earth do they make a minister for youth who is 62 years old? Communication of Kenya is a 34 year old boy. Minister for Communication of this country is over 70. What does the man understand about digitalization? Who is here? Greatest Baba. Okay. Lions do I have here? Next slide. No matter how bad the recession is in the bush, a lion will never eat grass. Will never eat grass. I came here because we represent a tribe. A tribe of the lion of the king of Judea. David said I would have fainted if it wasn't for the law. Huh? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? With one stone, I plucked down a lion. Another stone, a, 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 a bear. Is it this trouble that wants to try me? The bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. Stop complaining. The only way to get out of trouble is to enter the trouble. Next slide. The Pantera Leo is the lion. That lion, no matter how you try it, you cannot intimidate it. I said, okay, let us do an award night in the bush. Which is the tallest animal in the forest? Is it the lion? Which is the strongest animal in the, in the, in the bush? Is it the lion? Which is the fastest animal? Is it the lion? Which is the wisest animal? Is it the lion? The lion is not the tallest. The lion is not the biggest. The lion is not the fastest. The lion is not even the strongest. But yet, he is the king of the jungle. It has only one thing. Attitude. If you say the lion does not have, what excuse do you have to tell me that your father did not pay school fees for you? That your mother did not send you to London? That your uncle did not buy you iPad? to do school. It is not a function of your location. For as a man thinketh, 